Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing a 2K Ultra HD Smart Wi-Fi Camera. And you guys are currently watching Krilly. episode we're reviewing a security camera from the company Heme Vision. This is the Mate A1 and this camera let me just tell you guys has a lot of features to bring out to the table. Not only does this camera have 2K resolution it also has infrared night vision, it has smart detection with AI human detection, um, it also works with Amazon Alexa, it has an SD card storage slot that you can put all your videos onto or you can actually use a cloud service that this company provides which you can purchase to put all your videos onto and it also has you know sharing capabilities so you can share this camera so that other people can view it and there's just a lot of things that we're going to take a look at with this review but before we get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts whenever we do upload have any questions or concerns about this product make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read every single comment I do receive. So if any inquiries whatsoever, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And if you guys also enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go down below and leave a like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. And then lastly, if you guys actually wanna get more information about this security camera or get more details about it, product information and specifications will be down below in the description for you guys to check out, along with all the information if you're interested in that kind of info. But right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. As you guys can see, the box contains a lot of specifications and details on the box itself as I spin this box off to the side. But what we're going to do is actually move this onto a secondary camera angle so we have a closer shot at this product. So it just says Heme Vision right here and it's a smart Wi-Fi camera and this is the model Mate A1. And it's 2K Ultra HD and we have a picture representation of the security camera in the middle. On this side, there's a few specifications and details about this camera and also um, the application you guys need to install either on Google Play or the Apple App Store. So depending on your device, that um, you scan the right QR code to get access to the application. And then on this back side, we have a list of key features that this camera brings to the table. We got specifications, what's inside the box. If you guys want to take a look at that info, you guys can take a pause and look at that kind of information. Let's actually open up this box, pull that flat back, lift up the camera itself. Put it off to the side for now. Inside here, we have some user manuals and also ways to get in contact with this company. And we also have our user guide or user manual that will give you guys a lot more useful details about how to set up this product. At the bottom of the box, we actually have a few different accessories that this security camera has to offer. Um, let me open up this for you guys so you can take a look at it. We have um, some screws and brackets and we also have a reset button tool inside this baggie. We have a charging brick that we can utilize to actually give power to the security camera and then we also have a micro USB to USB a cable that we need to use with this brick to give power to the security camera last but not least it looks like we got some 3m tape that we can utilize to actually stick on to with this camera to give it you know if we don't want to go through the screws and brackets uh, method you can use this 3m tape to actually stick this camera up onto the, you know your table your side of the wall or wherever you decide to actually set up the this camera so it's nice to see that they implemented that and then last but not least inside this bag we actually have or not bag but this box I should say we actually have the security camera itself let me just open up this box for you guys this is how the security camera looks like and they did put a lens protection thing film on it so it could protect the lens throughout the shipment process and all you need to do is remove it before using this camera we're gonna put it off to the side and they also have some styrofoam at the bottom so you just need to take that and remove it and put it off to the side as well. So this is how the front of the 
camera looks like. We got the lens right here. I'm pretty sure these might be our microphones at the bottom right here. And then we also have an LED indicator light that's on the top. And then on the back side of the camera, we got our speakers on the back and also our micro USB slot that we can utilize to supply power to this security camera. And then on the very, very bottom of this camera, as you guys can see, um, we have our SD card slot and also our reset button. So you guys can see the camera itself is fairly simple, but there's a lot of features and customization that we're gonna take a look at when we proceed to the testing and demonstration portion of this video. So right now, let's actually go through and test out this security camera. So the first thing we need to do is take our micro USB cable and unwrap it. And once you unwrap it, you now take this end of the micro USB A cable and plug it into our charging brick, just like so. And now you take this charging brick and plug it into your power supply. Once you have it plugged into your power supply, you now take this end of the micro USB uh, cable and plug it into the back of the security camera. There is an LED light right here. I don't know if you guys can see it with my bright studio lights, but it is um, a steady like pink and blue light. Um, I don't know if it's gonna start flashing or making some sound effects letting us know that we can pair it up with this application. And there we go, the light is flashing red. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I think now we can actually proceed to get on the application and actually connect and pair up this camera to our app. So right now, you guys should be able to see my phone screen and what we need to do is open up the Heme Smart application, just like so and I just opened up mine. And if this is your first time using the application, it's gonna ask you for your Wi-Fi, not Wi-Fi, but your um, email and password credentials. And you may need to sign up or create an account with this application. But since I've used this application in the past, it didn't ask me any of that. So what we need to do is add a new device. And in our case, we have Cam A1. So we're gonna click on that, click on next, which we already connected it to our power outlet. So we're gonna click next. And it says press the reset button to for four to five seconds until the LED indicator flashes blue. So um, on the back side, like I showed you guys, there is a reset button. So I'm just gonna hold it down for four to five seconds. Please wait, reboot. The light now is flashing blue and the camera is saying waiting for a connection. So I'm gonna face this on to you guys. And we're gonna click on I hold the voice prompt. Click on next. Wait for and now it's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi credentials. So put in your Wi-Fi password and proceed to the next step. Wait for connection. And now what it's going to do is give you a QR code that you need to scan in front of this camera. So click on next and it's going to give you a QR code that you just need to face in front of this camera, which I'm going to do right now. And if the camera's LED uh, indicator flashes red, that means that it is pairing up uh, successfully. It's now flashing red. And you guys can hear it says Wi-Fi connection success. So now we can actually proceed to the next step. So it says searching for a working Wi-Fi, please wait. Please ensure your camera's plugged into a power outlet and the network works. So we're just gonna wait and see. Um, this might take a moment here. And it says that the camera was added successfully. So now you can actually name your camera to any name that you want. But in our case, I'm just gonna call it living room um, and click on confirm. So right now, you guys can see we have a living room camera icon in our main menu. So now we can click on this and we should be able to see what the camera's capturing. So you guys can see the camera is indeed working and what I'm gonna do is actually face it onto me. And right now I'm looking at the camera directly at my phone and the quality isn't too bad. Um, obviously, I don't think it's recording in 2K resolution. So if we click on H the HD button, you guys can see we got full HD, we got HD, and we got full HD. So I'm guessing the full HD is the 2K resolution. Um, but let's go into our settings menu before we play around and actually test out all the different features that this camera has. You can change the name. You can turn off that LED indicator light that's in front of the camera if you want to by just clicking on that button. We got installation. So I don't know exactly what this is. Oh, but you can, so what this is, is you can actually invoke the camera. So if you had this camera like hanging upside down from your ceiling, you can actually invoke it so that it's capturing um, the right side up, I guess. 
image color you can change it so you can do colored you can do black and white so that's actually nice that they let you choose how you want to capture your uh, video you can also uh, show this camera so you can show this camera to a list of people which is really cool you go back you can check the version that you're using you can even upgrade to the latest version you can go in and change the detection settings. So right now we got human detection on and we got uh, motion detection on. And you can also change the sensitivity. So right now we have it at medium. We can go all the way up to high or you can decrease it to low. You can even set a schedule and you can even set an interval for how long you want it to film that subject that it detects. So right now we have it at a minute. We can go up to two minutes. So that's really cool. You can disable notifications, you can go in recording settings, and you can do a cloud plan, or you could put a memory card into this security camera to film all your videos onto. And you can even change the recording schedule, so if you wanted it to record at a certain time, you have that uh, functionality with the security camera. You can change your network, change your time zone, and yeah, that's basically it. So let's just test out features that this security camera has to offer. So let's start off by clicking the sound button. Hello? Hello? What are you doing in my house? Do my house? And I do apologize for the frequency thing, but what I just tested out was this, um, the camera's microphone, and it was coming out of my phone speaker. So you guys can actually do two-way audio with this microphone because you can also talk to this camera through your phone, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, you can also record directly off of this camera. So if I click on this record button, it's gonna start refilling me, and you guys can see it's capturing whatever the camera's capturing. So hello guys, how you guys doing? This is how the camera's quality looks like. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. And if you wanna stop the recording, you just click on the stop button. Just like so and it'll save to your phone's album. But if you have a security, um, what is it called? Not a security, but if you have like a micro SD card or if that cloud service, it can save to those different um, uh, databases depending on which one you choose. Um, we also got a microphone in the middle and this microphone is what I can use to talk to my phone. So I can use my phone's microphone to talk um, to, to whoever's in front of the camera. I know it's a little confusing, but let me just demonstrate it and show you guys what I mean. Um, let me click on it. Actually, I need to hold it down. Hello? Hello? What do you do in my house? You're not supposed to be here? But you, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, it basically lets you um, talk to this camera um, directly, which is nice. And I can use it as like an intercom or you know if I see someone who shouldn't be in my property I can use it to kind of spook them off which is cool um, we can also take screenshots with the security camera by clicking on this picture button and right now it will save directly to my album and save it onto my phone storage there is one more thing that I want to show you guys um, which is this um, alarm siren different alarms or different things it detected throughout the day so you guys can see motion detection on the bottom. We got motion detection, motion detection. We even got human detection. So if it detects a human, it can also give an alert that we detected a human, which is nice because a lot of security cameras just detect any type of motion, like if a car passes by or if an animal passes by. But with this having AI smart human detection, you can actually make sure you're detecting human beings. So that is really nice to see with this security camera. And it tells you the day and the time that it happened there is one last thing I do want to show you guys before we wrap up this video and that is the infrared night vision so what I'll do is include a clip all right here right now we're testing out the infrared night vision of this team vision make a one security camera you guys can see the night vision is really good I'm looking at my phone screen right now and I can actually see it's capturing a lot of my details my facial expressions and even my facial hair so it's doing a fantastic job with the infrared night vision I can also see there's actually four different infrared lights that is being powered up to do this infrared. So it's doing a decent job of capturing all my face and everything. And yeah, it works really nicely. So overall, I would say that this camera did a fantastic job with all the different features it offers on the application. And right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the final reflections and remarks and then end off this video. 
So, one of my final opinions and remarks about this Heem Vision Mate A1 security camera. But let me just tell you guys that this security camera offers a lot of features. Um, with that 2K resolution, you can really get high definition footage of whatever subject or whatever thing you're trying to capture. Um, there's a lot of different features and customization you can do with the security camera. You can even put in micro SD card, um, K, uh, what is it called? A micro SD um, into this camera to capture all your footage onto and do keep in mind it only supports up to 128 gigabytes so if you do want to use an SD card make sure that your SD card does not surpass that capacity but overall I'm really impressed with the all the different features and the quality of the security camera and I like that you know it can swivel up and down you can just you know switch it to various different angles and stuff and you know it, overall it was really simple to set up and get it up and running so if you're looking for a security camera that can record really high definition um, videos you know definitely check this out as this did a fantastic job of bringing all those different aspects together but we are gonna end off this video right here hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode and if you guys did make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload have any questions or concerns about the security camera make sure you guys go down below and leave a comment as I reply and read if so a comment I do receive and if you guys did enjoy this video after watching it, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went down below and left a like as that just greatly informs me and keeps me updated if you guys are enjoying this tech series. Um, if you guys need any further assistance with this product or if you're a company wanting to work with me or a business increase, email is careerelitet at look.com. You guys can shoot me a message and we can potentially work together. Or if you guys need any further assistance with this product, you guys can do so by contacting me through my business increase email. And then lastly, if you guys that you want to check out this product or get more information about this security camera product information and details will be down below in the description for you guys to check out alongside all the specifications what's included inside the box and all the different features that this security camera has to offer but overall I'm really impressed with all the capabilities with the security camera the night vision worked pretty flawlessly as well and I was you know I'm glad I'm able to like do all the customization throughout the application so if I wanted to I can customize this camera camera to suit my needs exactly the way I want it so that's what really makes this camera appeal to me and I feel like it will appeal to a lot of you guys for that same reason but that is going to conclude our video like I mentioned earlier hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode I know I've been making it and I'll see you guys all on the next episode clearly signing out thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day